Hey guys, so now she's all stuffed and she's ready to be sewn, hand sewn together. Um, the only thing that I did differently was I just put this uh, piece of scrap material right here um, where the top of her shirt will start and um, just so that I can catch it within her arm pieces underneath her arms and stuff. That's the only thing that I did. But what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you stuffed your arms and then uh, well, before you stuff your arms, you may want to go ahead and turn your seam allowance in where you're going to sew it, it, sew it to the body, and you're going to iron it down real good. That way, your seam allowance is already there for you so that when you're ready to actually attach it, then you won't have to kind of fiddle with trying to make sure that the arms will sit on the body. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take a, a needle and thread and just sew the arms to the body. Um, all the way around to make sure you attach them to the body um, with the legs um, this is what I did I actually started the leg at the corner of the doll and I pinned the front as well as the back side of both the legs and um, I'm going to you know stitch just right along here to make sure that I grab the leg as well as um, as well as the top part of her body and then I'll just take the pins out and um, she will pre be pretty much done except for her um, for the outfit that I have to make for her so that is about it guys that is all the tips and techniques that I have for making a doll um, the rest of it is just doing the hair you can do the hair a couple of different ways you can use paint um, and paint the hair on you could also use floss which is what I used or you can use the tilde hair which I also have um, handy so you can use any one of those things floss is very inexpensive cost you maybe 35 cent for a little a little skin or or a little bundle of, um, of floss and then you can just thread a big eye needle and um, do her hair I would suggest using your erasable pen to mark out where you want her hair to be and then just um, actually sewing directly on that particular line to make her if you want like her to have bangs or whatever um, I don't want to continue showing you the rest of the doll only because I'm not sure now if I'm going to use this doll um, as the doll that I sent to my partner or if I'm going to make a different one. So if it turns out that I need to use this for my partner, then I want to go ahead and um, let her be surprised when she gets it. So um, that is about it. Um, her face um, it's best that you use some makeup. Um, it can be very inexpensive makeup um, from the dollar store is where I bought mine from. Don't use markers like I did before because the markers are going to leave a terrible, um, terrible look on her face. Um, use some um, eyeshadow in like the reddish colors and that makes some really cute blush. And, um, and then just dot her eyes with, um, I think I used a felt tip pen before when I dotted her eyes. Or you can use uh, paint for that as well, some acrylic paint. And you just have to have a really small, um, either a toothpick or a really small stylus or something like that to, to make her eyes. And I would also suggest that you use an erasable pen first and um, make the marks for her eyes where you're going to put her eyes um, before you try it with the paint or whatever. Um, I think that is about it um, other than her outfit and if you put some shoes on her she's pretty much done so um, I hope to be able to show you guys the doll um, within the next couple days so that it's all finished up and shipped out to my partner and um, if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible thanks guys bye